As NASA and SpaceX get ready for a historic mission to the International Space Station, continuing a new era of space exploration. Good morning and welcome back. Crew One is expected to launch at 727 tomorrow night. There will be three American astronauts and one Japanese astronaut on board. This will be the first fully crewed and operational commercial mission to the ISS. And joining us now is NASA astronaut Laura O'Hara to talk about this historic launch and what it means for the future of human space exploration. Thank you for being with us this morning. Good morning, I'm excited to be here. And we're excited to have you. This launch was initially delayed. What goes into making that decision? So a lot of people are, look at a lot of different data, obviously. Um, to decide whether or not it's safe to launch. And in this case, uh, we were watching the weather really closely. And unfortunately, uh, the winds and the offshore, offshore sea conditions just didn't cooperate today. So we will try again tomorrow. And how is this changing human space flight? So we are really looking at a new era of human space flight. The launch tomorrow represents the start of regular sustained operational missions to the International Space Station. This means more people, more science, and more commercial opportunities available in low Earth orbit. Laurel, this is so awesome. I have to ask you, as an astronaut yourself, what is going on in the minds of these astronauts as this first mission is scrubbed? That anticipation building for that second date and time for launch, are, they must be so anxious. Uh, you know, actually, they're probably the calmest people around out of all of us. <laughs> you know, they've been training for this moment for years. And um, even uh, they reflect this even in the name of their capsule, which is resilience. Um, they are ready to go. And, you know, one more day is one more day. And uh, they'll be ready to go on Sunday. And Laurel, they will be up there for six months. Tell us a little bit about what they will be doing. Uh, they're going to be doing all sorts of science and maintenance activities on board the space station. And this includes everything from, you know, medical research on new cancer drugs that will benefit people here on Earth to uh, research activities like growing vegetables, radishes and lettuces or installing a new toilet um, on, the, on the U.S. side of the International Space Station that um, will demonstrate technology that we might use on the moon someday. So really just the diversity and array of science that they'll be doing up there is pretty incredible. Six months, is that a standard stay for astronauts? That is, that's been our regular cadence uh, for a while now, six months. And what will some of the preparations that they will be doing at, over the next 24 hours as they get ready for tomorrow? So they are probably relaxing at Kennedy Space Center right now in about seven hours before launch. Um, they will get up, they'll do medical checks, they'll have breakfast, they'll start to get ready, um, they'll get their spacesuits on, they'll have any final briefings that they do. And then about an hour, hour and 15 minutes before launch, um, they will, uh, well, actually about two hours and 15 minutes before launch, they'll head out to the pad and get into the rocket and close the hatch about an hour before launch. Oh, so cool. I know so <laughs> many people, obviously, along the Space Coast and uh, all borders, you know, corners of the country will be watching. How does this launch, I know you elaborated a little on this earlier, but really set the stage for us and what this means for future exploration. Yeah, so this really, um, as we have SpaceX and eventually Boeing who will start flying astronauts to the space station, what this does is free NASA up, frees up NASA resources to allow us to explore farther than ever. So it's kind of like the early days of aviation uh, when we had the government leading the way and nurturing this new, uh, this new emerging economy. Um, this new industry is really going to allow NASA um, as an organization to look further out, um, look at sending astronauts back to the moon and eventually on to Mars and continuing to uh, explore space and Earth and, and do other research. Very exciting, and I know a lot of people are looking forward to it. Laurel O'Hara, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much. And of course, we'll have team coverage on this special launch uh, happening tomorrow. We'll be streaming this on all of our platforms, so something 
Very cool to watch and tune in. Again, that launch is tomorrow at 7.27 p.m.